Hello there, so welcome to Alice Blue. This is Stephen Gogoy, and in this video, I will discuss about crude oil. Now, you can see this is a crude oil chart, and this is a daily chart. And so, in a daily chart, we have seen uh, the crude oil is running in a downtrend, right? So, why I'm telling like uh, crude oil is uh, running in a downtrend because you can see this is a red line, this is called a uh, 50 exponential moving average uh, running below. 150 exponential right uh, 150 exponential moving average so here we have seen right this is 150 and 50 because uh, 50 is running below 150 so we confirm that trend is down and in a daily time frame remember in daily time frame so uh, let me find out the entry point so we confirm that trend is down and we have to find out our entry point right uh, for the cell we have seen this is a candlestick pattern are forming here because we have seen this is a candlestick pattern and according to our uh, trading strategy so when they, this type of candlestick pattern are formed that our entry point will be just below that candlestick pattern right let me tell you so we have seen this is called uh, engulfing pattern have you seen this was so our entry point was just above the candlestick pattern here so we have seen this is our entry point for the buy similarly we have seen here is our uh, last point so i just place this horizontal line little more below this candlestick pattern right so th that is our entry point for the sell right so let's check in a small time frame like four hour because in a uh, for the buy direction we never seen in a daily time frame right so that is why we have to find out in four hours chart. so now four hours chart, you can see daily uh, this is daily supporting line uh, three eight two five this is the uh, supporting line so that means once they break this level so we will start selling from below this uh, supporting line now for the buy <coughs> So now we can see uh, this is a candlestick pattern just formed here in a four hour uh, time frame. This is called pin par, or some people are say like hammer pattern, right? So, uh, main question is that uh, what is the rule behind candlestick pattern? The candlestick pattern rule is that candlestick pattern should form in a right place, right? In a right location. So now we can see we have seen this is a hammer pattern we have seen here hammer pattern is this hammer pattern are forming in a right location right so yes because this hammer is forming above this supporting line remember hammer always they must form above this support line so we have seen daily this is a supporting line we have seen and they are forming there right so uh, in that case people are thinking hey this is hammer pattern are formed let's go for buy no remember according the candlestick pattern this is hammer are forming like that and we place buy order just a little more above uh, you can say crude oil like 10 to 15 point above so what we have seen here now let me draw another horizontal line for the buy so here we have seen uh, this is hammer pattern have you seen and I place uh, this horizontal line just below, like you can say like uh, 13, 14 point above, uh, right? So now you can see hammer, this is a higher point, this 3, uh, 8, 8, 2, and I place uh, 90, so 18 point above, right? If they break this level, so definitely I will go for buy, right? So what is our exit point? So for the exit point, we have seen some resistance line. So let me tell you. So 200 moving average are forming a strong support and a resistance, right? So have you seen this one? So in that case, I want to draw another line for the resistance, right? For the resistance. So have you seen? So this is our resistance uh, line. So that means target. So I want to place a little more below because I always uh, keep just a little more below, right? So we have seen this is a support and resistance. So now, uh, now you can see above this 
line like 3890 I'll go for buy remember and my target will be around 3944 right for the sell I'll wait to break this supporting level in between this area I'm not interested to take sell according to four hour chart right so for the sell I uh, the price must break this supporting line now let's check in a small time frame for our entry and exit point right so this is our trading setup right let's check it now you can see price is creating lower low and a lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high now we have seen this is support so once they break I'll start selling because most of the people are start selling from this area, right? So here. Now, question is that some people are say, "Hey, this is uh, this price is running in a downtrend, so we can go for sell in this area." Because I'm not interested to take this uh, area because I never seen a high probability uh, trade for the sell because this price uh, just below there is a supporting line because what my trading strategy here is a support a strong support right so if price is running like that so i'm not interested to take sell position uh, near this supporting line so similarly you can see here we have seen this is support so i'm not interested to take sell position i am interested uh, for the sell if they break this supporting line right and if they break this level uh, that, is, uh, that is you can say like uh, four hour they are forming a hammer right here was we have seen so once they break so definitely I can go for buy for this area but remember this is a counter trading it will be a counter trading so again I'm looking for a sell right below this resistance line so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching